Yo, what up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. We got some more Outlaws of Thunder Junction draft. Yes, if you didn't catch, uh, I guess earlier today, the... No, wait, when is this getting uploaded? If you didn't catch yesterday's um, qualifier for the Arena Champs and Pro Tour, you'll want to catch that video. But back to regular drafting. I think we're ranked like 100 going into this. So let's see if we can, excuse me, improve upon that. With an Overwhelming Forces, one of the biggest bomby cards in the format. It is eight mana to cast. But generally, after you cast this card, you win the game. Just way too much card advantage. In fact, the biggest thing that um, you could lose to is just either the reverse uh, Overwhelming Forces or your opponent um, milling you out or you decking yourself. Anyway. Easy first pick. I'm still loving forcing five color. It didn't work in um, our previous draft video, but that's more because we just didn't see the good cards. We had all the fixing in the world. We just didn't open anything else good. So nice follow-up pack here. We have a free strider lookout buried in the garden. Make your own luck as my top three choices. Uh, I don't think buried in the or the uh, free strider is a bomb, but in the five color decks that I like drafting. This card is really good. You play this on like turn four with a tap land to immediately trigger it. Like the ramp is so good. Buried in the garden, make your own luck. Also fantastic. And in fact, make your own luck with forces is insane. But yeah, I'm going to take the free strider look out there. That's going to be an easy what back for more or lassoed by the law. Both of those are really good. Generally, I'm going to go with the lassoed here. Um, I think the back for more is just better in the graveyard theme decks, not necessarily the five color decks. Though if you get an armadillo or whatever, it is nice. Great train heist. Every time I cast this card, it has won the game, basically on the spot. You wait until you have a few creatures, right, and then you cast this for six uh, to get the extra combat and the plus one plus zero oh in first strike. So usually you're killing a lot of your opponent's creatures or getting in for a lot of damage, and then you do it again. But not here for us. We'll take the lasso over the back for more. Any deserts? Oh, there is a desert there, but Bandit is the premium to drop you on in this deck. Just does so much work. Yeah, I take the Bandit over the desert very, very easy. And there's nothing nothing else in the pack. It's Bandit, Desert, and maybe the Archway, although a little bit worse in the multicolor. Here's a interesting choice. Paladin versus Desert, because the Paladin's a really good stabilizer. I think I'm still going to lean towards the desert. I think the fixing's a little bit more important, but I would like to get some paladins later on. That's going to be ooh, Oasis versus Dance is another interesting choice. So I think Dance is slightly better. There's also a Mirage Mesa here. I think Dance is slightly better because it's also a late game win condition in addition to fixing. That's rough though. We're passing two deserts that I would love to have. Okay, here's a mulligan of a pick. I'm going to take the biter just in case I end up wanting a cheap creature in the early game to just to trade away. Canyon versus Paladin. Let's take the Paladin now because this is currently double off color. There's a nice Jagged Barons. Yeah, the deserts are coming around this draft, so that's good. I mean, I don't think we're going to wheel any of the lush Oasis, but this is a fantastic start. Um, I'm really hoping to get like the Cornucopia for the life gain plus fixing and ramp, or the omen path journey. But both of those are mythics. But every time we see those cards now, or rather any time I see those cards now, I get very excited because, yeah, they're slow and dirtily, but they ramp you and they really push for a late game strategy. This is incredible green. Um, Tomb Trawler over Salvo is, I think, pretty easy as well. A lot of the times, my five color decks have an easy time drawing through themselves or milling themselves. You would be surprised at the work Tomb Trawler does. Bounce is possible just for some interaction. It's nice to have gotten the overwhelming forces, pick one, pack one. We don't really need to worry about win cons at this point. Again, Maybe on the archway. It depends on how many colors we end up playing and how much other um, acceleration we can find, right? We have the dance, the bandit, and the lookout right now. So, I mean, 
I could probably already consider the archway a playable. But obviously in five color, the, the colorless land. A little bit of a stretch. Yeah, 40 gems, second to last pick. Wow, and that is just not correct. We are getting a last pick lush oasis. So this is one of those pods that um, they're clearly undervaluing. And yes, I might overvalue sometimes, but th that is a clear sign that they are undervaluing. So let's move on to pack two, pick one. We got to shoot the sheriff. Easy pick up here. We say it every single time. It's not an amazing removal spell, right? There are a lot of outlaws in the format, but there are enough hits for it, and especially in green, that it's not a bad card to have. Soured Springs here versus Make Your Own Luck versus Consuming Ashes. I think you can go with either of these. I think I like taking the card advantage of the Make Your Own Luck. That's close, though. I think uh, Soured Springs is, is very good. Saddle versus Canyon. Kind of similar to our previous pick. Do we want to land? Well, this one's a lot worse, actually. The blue-black land was fantastic. The red-blue here is not really doing much, so I guess we'll just take the saddle. Badlands Revival versus a Gardener. Savage Smash is okay, too. All right. Yeah, we really, really, really want to find ourselves a uh, an Armadillo. Like, I passed on the back for more, but uh, the Badlands Revival is still really good with that. We might still just run the Snake, actually. Especially now that we've picked up the Saddle, it gets a lot better. Blocks, annoying 1-1, one, one, punches well with Saddle. Beast Master, or Beast Bond Outcaster. Not much here. Dirge doesn't have much of a hit for us. I'm not too tempted to splash the lullaby. Grizzly, not really for this deck, so. Seems fine. There's a naturalist or a bedevil. Bedevil's good. I think naturalist is a little bit better, especially since we've gotten the revival now. One of snakeskin veil over stop cold. We don't have the greatest creatures to protect right now, but hopefully in pack three we can find some. In fact, yeah, that's that's kind of an issue, isn't it? I guess we haven't seen many good top end cards. We opened the natural or not the naturalist. We opened the forces, and we did see an, one other paladin, but the top end is kind of lacking here. God, this is just the most fun thing to do in this format, I think. Is it, ob is it correct to uh, force the five color? Obviously not. Um, is it fun when it works out? Of course. Another Jagged Barrens. I don't even have any deserts do, which kind of sucks, but the, the, the ping lands are still nice for like the lookout, right? How many green deserts have I lost out on? Just one other lush oasis, right? Because I I picked up the, the this last one on the wheel somehow. I don't think we've seen green black, green white, green red. Doc Arlock on the wheel. That does nothing for us, but a commando is perfectly acceptable, right? Just a 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Five, five off of a revival, too, if you want it to. Second archway, definitely not. Probably? No, there's no way. I don't, I'm not even sure if we've seen a Cactarantula. Tomb Trawler. There's Lullaby. Alright, pack three. 
Give me at least one more bomb, and there we have it. Rush of Dread is also quite good, but Villainous Wealth is the fun play. Okay. I was uh, commenting probably in the last five videos that I haven't seen a Villainous Wealth in a long time, and this is a great start to it. We lose on that Rush of Dread, another Saddle, another Revival. Don't matter. That's a really bad pack, geez. Lawbringer, I don't have much to sacrifice. I'm going to second pick, I think, a Sentry just as an early blocker. Ugh, where are the deserts? The green ones, specifically. That's a good one. Wow, that's a really good pack. Dang it. Outcaster, Trailblazer, Journey to Nowhere, Consuming Ashes, and a green land. I guess the Trailblazer is also fixing. And we do have a handful of cards that... No, I guess I'm supposed to take the Trailblazer here. I don't really have that many desert payoff cards, and more importantly... This is a four power creature for like our outcaster and it draws extra cards and it fixes so uh vault plunder gigapede we probably want the gigapede here another top end card sorry intimidation campaign mesa versus a naturalist naturalists are still good here too naturalists are fixing Maybe I can wheel a naturalist, though, if I take the Mesa, because there are two in that pack. Another make your own luck. Oh, actually, Bandit's Hall and Red Rock Sentinel are two other cards. Man, why are they putting all the cards I want in single packs? Oh, God, Red Rock Sentinel might be better here. That's super close, too, I think. I'm going to take the Sentinel over the second, make your own luck. Finally, a Desert's Due, seventh pick, pack three. Crazy. Gardener, we will also play. And back to garbage. There are some cards we could wheel if we get lucky. It's the worst card in my deck currently. Ankle Biter. These are not the cards we were hoping to wheel, though. Come on, patient naturalist. There were two in the pack. Let me wheel one of them. Am I just cutting the snakeskin veil? I don't have that much to protect, I guess. It's like okay on trailblazer, okay on sentinel. Dang, didn't wheel one of the naturalists. Okay. Hmm. Could just run double tomb trawler. But I don't have that much self mill. This looks solid enough. I guess we will run the snakeskin. And we will add every single one of these deserts. Though I have nothing in red. Barons are still fine for the Trailblazer, right? And I'm beginning, like I can just play them instead of swamps, so that's fine. Um a lot of green. This would be five, six, seven, eight at least on green. Don't need any planes. Two, three, four blue sources. We probably only need one island. Three, four, five, six, seven black. That's more than enough black. Do 
We just want to go up to nine green sources since that's our most relevant color, probably. We can't function without green. Okay, looks fun. Let's go. Better five color deck than the last time we had. Missing a couple of components, but uh, overall looks good. All right, game one. <sighs> I would snap keep this on the draw, and I think it's a reluctant keep on the play. The turn to uh, sentry hopefully holds off quite a bit. I mean, if I just miss on lands, that's unlucky. And I would actually have loved a silver deputy there on turn two with his hand. All right, found the swamp, no complaints. One more land off the top. Double Silver Deputy, okay. Normally that's a really, really good thing to see because I don't think Silver Deputy is a good card. It's more of a concession to play it. Isn't a land, but it's land adjacent, and more importantly, it does fix for the lasso if we want to cast that. I guess I'm still going to name white here in case they kill my gardener. Oof. Insane draw for us. Love it. I'm going to exile the Naturalist because it's the same mana cost as the Outcaster, but um, this way, if I reveal the Outcaster as the plot, they know that uh, killing my five power creature is a little bit more important, right? Maybe not important, but relevant. Oh, what are they doing over there? Ooh, nice archway hit for our... So what's it? Twelfth. Right, Gigapede resolves. I assume they're going to target the sentry. They didn't. Why didn't they target the sentry? Oh, I guess probably shooting the sheriff here is better. Because we have two more deserts. Um, the only issue about, about bouncing the Mirage Mesa is that uh, I don't have white next turn. Contagion Engine is not really that good. Four mana to activate that thing? Sure. Okay. <laughs> the reverse villainous wealth. They did not hit anything good. <laughs> Alright. We start off with a win. Unlike our previous five color deck, we have one win. I guess we're not truly five color. I don't have red, but close enough anyway. Ah. <sighs> How are we looking? Okay, good enough, right? 
our three main colors with two three threes castable. Hey, Mr. Gardener. Love to see that. Don't love seeing a turn two Erinx because, well, that card attacks into my turn two three three if they have a way to saddle it. Oh. This is going to be a play versus draw difference. The only silver lining here is that they're very unlikely to be able to double saddle those next turn, right? They would have to play two additional creatures that both have power too. Holy crap. Is kind of absurd. All right, well, four toughness here looks good. That's fine. We can lasso that thing. I think we've stabilized, kids. I think we've stabilized. I'm going to give them a card here, but so be it. God, a small part of me wanted to attack with the Paladin there. We just force out the trick, right? Yeah, it's fine. It's just main phase on the burrow fiend. Um, what color do we need to name here? I guess we just want more green. None of my creatures <laughs> particularly block well on this board, but... Okay. Three, four, six, seven. I can only Villainous Wealth for four. So let's just take this hit and plan on casting Wealth, hopefully for five, since they did top something as well. Nice. Alright, let's go for five. Oh, baby, I see a lot of hits. Oh, my God. Wow, we just win the game. So we put the Outcaster on the stack last. And that way it resolves first. And then we get to draw all the cards. That's too good. <laughs> uh, Villainous World for five. Four good hits, huh? Holy moly. Look, you gotta get lucky sometimes, and why not it be right then? Right there. Jeez Louise. Eating. Even if we had only done it for four, that would have still been good enough with those hits. Okay. 2-0. You always have the Sentry on 2. And let me tell you, it feels good. I would love to hit a land other than this. Okay. So... I'm going to lead on one Jagged Barrens, or one Desert here. And then save any others for our lookout. But to make sure that I can have three mana here on turn three. Wanted to play the first one out. Although we could wait. Yeah, we could just play out the Naturalist now. Especially since we have Revival. That's pretty good. 
good. Uh... I want the archway, but let's go with the flats. Since we don't have white mana. Giant beaver. I'm going to take three. Yeah, I'm going to need to find a removal spell for that griff. Perfect. Okay, but we still want to go with Lookout here first, and now we want to go on Oasis. Great. I guess we want to name Black for double Black currently. Can't saddle both. Okay, so they're gonna pump the griff with the beaver. I mean, I'm gonna get blown out here, but I accept. Oh, that's not even that bad. I still get to keep a 3-3. Wow, that was actually not bad. Um, getting back the lookout doesn't really do too much. I think we need to make your own luck here and hit overwhelming forces like a champion. <laughs> uh... We're going to hold the flats for crime purposes. Well, that could have gone better. Uh, that's for sure. How much damage is this? Nine? Insta win there if we had hit overwhelming forces. So sick. Good beats. Okay, that's good. That's really good. And now trading off the Paladin for Badlands Revival is fantastic as well. Assuming they don't just tap it or have an exile effect. No tappies. Just tradies. If they attack with just the ty Tycoon or whatever, we're, we're happy to put the Paladin in front, right? Make them use their... Sacrifice effect. All right, flyer. Pass. Still want to hold on to the flats, even though they know I have it. This is where the Red Rock Sentinel is hopefully going to shine. Annoyingly 
believe they can tap here. We need to draw something this turn. That's a good start, actually. That's really good, too. Okay. Now I think we're right back in the thick of things. Oh, fine. I'll play out the desert, finally. Alright, tap my pallet in. Seriously? That is disgusting. Alright, I'm gonna need to draw overwhelming forces. God, what a freaking oof. So we're going to kill the beaver here. Remember, Badlands Rava can get back my lasso. Nothing saddling, so we can see how they attack first. Minus five this, trade sentry for Tycoon. Chump. Wow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for six. <sighs> or I could get back my three, three with reach and lasso. I'm I feel like I'm gonna draw or hit a lot of lands off of their deck is revival plus lasso just better Probably is. Okay, there goes overwhelming forces. I think we're doing pretty well now. Might as well just wait, right? Gigapede their key keeper, play out a 3 3, get another land. Just don't draw lands. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, seven it is.
Yeah, hit a lot of bricks. Pretty brutal. Oh, okay. I guess they didn't want to play anymore. I don't even think they were dead. If they found any removal for my lookout, the flyer would have put me on a two-turn clock. We knew we were going to hit a bunch of lands there. The opponent just had been missing so many lands, but hey, good stuff. 3-0. and Let's go game four. Okay. The big question, can I survive? Can we live to tell the tale of an eight mana spell? That's a good one. It's named Blue. Green, white mounts again. Everybody's just forcing it. Gardner and the Tumbleweeds for two different ramp spells is kind of nice here. In fact, Dance of the Tumbleweeds on Archway looks really good. Please don't kill my Gardner. Destroy target artifact! Did we just get requisition raided? Blech. Like I keep a, a land, I guess. Desert on the fever. And I don't think I'm going to wait around. I think playing out the commando is fine. Look at our hand, right? Trading is fine. <sighs> Buying time till we are able to cast one of these big spells is key here. Mind trading if they attack. It's good. Couple more lands. Perfect. Four, six, seven. All right, one land away from forces. We can always just fire off a baby wealth if uh, we don't find the eighth land and they have a little bit too much pressure. <laughs> Two, four, six, seven. The funny thing is, the Tomb Trawler with Snakeskin Veil can block the security. Like, I think I do it. What else am I using the Snakeskin Veil on? And if they want to use a trick, we're fine with that, right? Like if they have, uh, what's it called? Uh, take up the shield here, then we get the indestructible card out of their hand. For overwhelming forces later. Worst case scenario is like steer clear. Oh no, steer clear doesn't. Oh, actually, that would work. Hey, they did do it. Perfect. All right. Um, let's put the dance back in, and probably the deserts do.
two, four, six, eight. All right, let's do it for five. It's good enough. Pretty bad. Pretty freaking bad. Oh, I did that in the reverse order. I needed to play, I needed to put Miriam on the stack above the lasso, so the lasso should be auto-equipped here. I'm gonna lose after casting a huge Villainous Wealth and a huge Overwhelming Forces, aren't I? I'm also going to just commit to dying if they have a punch effect. I don't want to use overwhelming forces here. Just please play out like one more creature. Thank you. They okay, used take up the shield. Nice. I still think they probably have like a snakeskin veil in hand too, but what are you gonna do? It's not terrible, I guess. I'm not gonna use the saddle yet, since we can just block it. Alright, remove. Reach for the sky would still be a trade. Okay. Target creature gains double strike. Sure. They're going to get to draw a card no matter how I do this. I could have bounced my own beast bond, I guess. And then saddled afterwards. So maybe that was better. If I bounce my outcaster and then I draw a four power creature. Oh boy. Can I draw some spells, please? is kind of incredible, actually. That was great. We want to make that a 3-5. Now both of our creatures can block and trade or eat. Good. This is where the Sentinel takes over the game. Cards left. I still have 17 cards in my deck. ever draw a flyer. Oh, that's really bad too. Okay. Elf Scout. That is shootable. Not today, Sheriff Silvala. It's good too. Now we can main phase this. Nice, there we go. There we go, there we go.
Excellent. And so the Tomb Trawler, since we're nearly through the entirety of our library, is going to allow us to stack all the insane cards back. I guess I should have moved the lasso over to the commando because they have a good double block on the commando, but oh well. Oh, you know what? Stealing their Thunder Lasso with the Lookout's kind of nice. Yeah, baby, the grind out. I was looking worried there for a moment, but that was going to be one of those games where we could just loop everything that we wanted to, just like Villainous Wealth and deck them in like a turn or two or whatever. Tomb Trawler. All right, 4-0. All right, on to the next. Can we continue the run goods? And looks solid enough. Needs to find a little bit of early interaction. We'll probably play the commando out on turn three would be my guess. Hello, hello. Play the green blue land out and we'll probably hold the flats. Okay, I'll play the barons out as well. Remember, we do have the... Um, Whatever that 3-3 three, three is that gets lands with crime, so. Not that one. Um, I guess we're going to plot this, and then we'll probably plot the commando next turn. Right, that's going to be a 3-4, so they don't get to attack with the sentry quite yet, thankfully. I might take quite a bit of damage next turn, though. can once again potentially live the dream of make your own luck plotting our overwhelming forces. If they don't have another desert, then the green blade won't turn into a enabler for this sentry, so that's good. That does. So I take six. It's a good draw, too. We get to go commando. Outcaster draw a card. There's the lookout. I think it's going to be safest just to go with Paladin this turn, though. That's a pretty nice board presence all of a sudden. Wow, they have the punch here as well. I'm going to take how much? Close to 15? 14 damage? My lord. Alright. I'm at one. I die to another desert. Nothing I can do about that, I guess. Ah, the joys of being on the play for our opponent. I'm mean, gonna have to go double chump already, so. Good beats. Copies Green Blade, grabs a desert, kills us. 
Yeah, I think if we're on the play there, we're actually fine, huh? But they're just like one step ahead because they're on the play. On to the next. Poor villainous wealth stuck in our hand. There we go. It's a great hand. Stubborn bro. <clears throat> Land pass. All right, let's go plotting the next couple of turns here. Plot a shark, sure. Plot paladin, and we will set up for a pretty nice next turn. Saddling. I have a feeling they have a counter here, but maybe they don't. I don't really mind if they now bounce my paladin to deny me a card. Still gain some extra life back, if, if nothing else. Oh, they're going to turn it into an 0 1. Wait. I don't think that was good. Deny me a card just to... Uh, that might have been better off as a trick later on, I feel like, for them. Stop cold. Okay. If they go for a double block, we get to go for Desert Stew. I mean, I have two 3-3s, three but I have nothing else going on, so... It's not going to be very hard for them to stabilize off of this. Yeah, I mean, that's good enough. However, a white source is good for the lasso. I could also lasso their stop cold, which would deny them a card off of the Cactarantula, and the Paladin would still be able to attack into it, but... Primal Command to Time Walk me. Funny that they're going to get punished here for not targeting my tap land, though. Let's see what creature they get to grab here. Hopefully then I don't have like a Bonnie Paul. Another spider, that's pretty good. Still think I go ahead and make this play though. Because if they're just playing out spider, they're going to take another three, at least. Assuming they don't have anything else for two mana in their hand. Oh, there's temptation here to attack, but... I guess I just go land pass. We have so many high power cards to draw to, and I don't think they can attack anytime soon. Oh, 
Okay, so I think the way they sequence this, they have a, another two-mana interactive spell in their hand. Because I don't think they just drew the bandit. I think they were debating playing the bandit last turn and instead held something up. It's a good draw. Very good draw. Whoa, that's a lot of red sources. So they're not just playing the red green desert for value, they're playing it for some red cards too. Jailbreak scheme. Gonna make their bandit unblockable? No. Can they afford to attack here though? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Where are all these deserts coming from? Oh, that's kind of scary. All right, no blocks. Do they have, like, the uh, trash the town, maybe? Is that what the trick they're holding up was? Yeah, it was. Okay. They didn't even add the counters. Not sure about that play. Oh, I don't think we're actually supposed to use the token. I think we're just supposed to attack with both of these. Puts them to one, and then we archway, bounce. And they're dead to the... Oasis in hand next turn. Nice. Because if I pump with the 1-1, one, one, they just block Riku to whatever one gets pumped. And then I have one less blocker for potential issues. So I think that's the way to do it. Okay, 5-1. and one. This hand looks decent. Really hoping that we can find another land so that uh, I have the lookout on turn uh, four with a ping land for the ramp. We will lead off with the lush oasis, but... Alright, I can't get greedy, unfortunately. I gotta play out the Jagged Barons, damn. So, lookout losing a little bit of value, though we do have an archway to potentially bounce one of those later on. So we go with Naturalist here and try to find a um, another desert. There goes my overwhelming forces. A little bit sad, but we can get that back later with the um, with the um, Tomb Trawler by getting that back too. And unfortunate lineups. Plotted a shark. Two 
list in the shark draw a card. They have essence capture. Sheesh, man. Uh, yeah, we're kind of running into the uh, unfortunates here. That's brutal. Killing me for crime. They milled my villainous wealth. <laughs> uh, just very, very unlucky, huh? All right, what can we do here now? I can punch the crab and attack with our Spinewoods Paladin. That's probably what I have to do, start bashing through. If they want to double block with Shark and Bloodseeker, that's okay. Shark plotted. Um, a lookout's in the graveyard, so we can just play out the land. The Hustler. And the Muck. Yeah, if we don't draw one of our recursion spells, we definitely lose. And that ain't it. Um, kind of have to attack here. And kill the Desperado. So, what's our best draw? Make your own luck is our best draw into Badlands Revival or something? Yeah, this is looking really bad. Unfortunate mills plus unfortunate counters. Sentinel was supposed to be doing a ton of work, but... The hustler here. Obviously, they're going to have some kind of trick, but don't really have an option. Skullduggery or something. Nice. Okay, probably need to find Make Your Own Luck this turn. That does not work, so there's no opportunity for me to turn a creature into a four-power creature there. I mean, I guess my best bet is to plot that. 
and hope I'm not dead. The draw of the plan the heist is going to turn the duelist already into a huge creature, though. So. Alright. Didn't die. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Yeah, pretty awkward. Mm. Ran into the double counter and milled both of our good cards, unfortunately. Remember, milling's random, so while it did suck in that scenario, could have just milled like two lands instead. How are we looking here? Ooh, do not have a green source, but this hand looks really good if we can find a green source, so I'm going to keep it. Go ahead and Jagged Baron's turn one. We have the Archway to bounce it. Hey, there's the green. Alright, perfect. So now we can... We're gonna plot the Trailblazer first. We're gonna do a lot of plotting the next couple of turns if the opponent's just gonna be passing. Nice. I have no need to run into that open mana. Knife point. That's a little bit annoying. Surprises there. Still get a pretty nice turn, though. Okay, not bad. Flying lifelink is kind of annoying, though. Oh, yo, Pyromancer. Is in fact a mercenary. Yeah, this is one of those matchups where our um, shoot the sheriff is just garbage. There goes forces and villainous wealth. Yikes. Okay, so those both are on the bottom now. Ugh, God. We have 24 cards left, so we're gonna need some more triggers of the lookout. We need them to not... We need them to have a non-outlaw creature, you know? Remember, they have first strike on their turn, too, so I can't even block with the lookout. Skewer Nets mana, that's pretty funny. Snake Horse Mount, that is a creature I can shoot. Awesome. Uh, 
That's a good draw too, actually. Actually, we want the extra triggers here, don't we? We just want to try to get through down to our um, down to our villainous wealth and overwhelming now. So they're not on the bottom anymore. They're four above the bottom. They are looking like so they're gonna gain four life in the air and they're attacking with the Bronco. They're hoping to get a good trigger off of that. Phew, just a land. I mean, that was my only target for shoot the sheriff, but what can you do? Could I, I guess I could block with Tomb Trawler and hope they play a different non-outlaw creature, but that seems wishful. Alright, that was another really good draw. Pass. 2, That is a rogue. Dang it, dude. It's also a flyer. Alright, so we want to... Second response, draw. I mean, I can't shoot Sheriff any of their creatures, right? Yeah, so... We just discard shoot the sheriff and let them draw a card. First strike, right? Yeah, all first strike. So just bounce here, chump here, I think. And we need to find one more way to uh, trigger the lookout. And if we can, um, then we are very likely to, after that, draw um, wealth or overwhelming. And that is perfect. Okay. So if I did my math right, we should be able to trigger here. And now one of the next cards, like these top four, I believe, have Villainous Wealth and Overwhelming in them, right? Oh, I don't want to play that. That's actively bad right now. But now we don't mind. We can block with the lookout if necessary. So 
So I believe two of the next three cards should be Villainous Wealth or something akin to that. Nine. We do get to kill their rodeo here. Am I, did I math wrong? Maybe I did my math wrong. Okay, there's the wealth. Um, let's see, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Good for ten. Seems good. Can't cast detonation, right? Yeah, I can't cast detonation because I don't have mana for spree. And remember, I don't get any of the knife point triggers unless I target um, them. Nice. Um, with the vault plunder because the spells are already targeting on the stack. Hey, speaking of nice, rank 69 acquired. All right. Six and two, let's play for that trophy. Let's get it, baby. Let's get that money, honey. It looks decent. I'm gonna have to name green on the Mirage Mesa. So we're gonna have to Arid on turn two here. Oh, this is extremely awkward, isn't it? There, yeah, perfect. Untapped forest is exactly what we're looking for. And on turn two, the gardener to follow up. Oh, the sharpshooter to kill my gardener is brutal. So they're more than two color. Yeah, no, we don't need to plot. We can play out the uh, sentry and name blue here. Just get a little bit of defense on the board, you know? Yeah, Paladin's a big boy. Okay. He is not a sheriff, notably. So we can go... Shoot that thing main phase. Plot. So that's going to actually let us um, ramp out the overwhelming forces a turn earlier as well. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more land. Beautiful. We get to overwhelming forces next turn. So we hope they tap out for another creature or two. Come on, creature, tap out. One more, come on. One more creature, no plot. I 
If they randomly have a counter off of the bandit. Ionize, they do! Oh my god, are you absolutely kidding me? Wow. Lose to a bad counter? Jeez. You got me, Benegade. And there's the archive trap, too. <laughs> well, actually, that's funny. Oh, no, no, we had the Tomb Trawler. I was going to say, if we had resolved that overwhelming forces, the archive trap. Oh, no, I have 28 cards in my deck still. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. I'll lose to an Ionize, of all things. You dirty dog. Actually, maybe I should have saved the Badlands Revival for our Tomb Trawler, but no, I guess I had nothing going on if I don't. I have Tomb Trawler and a Bounce spell. Clear shot. Um, I can either bounce their Sharpshooter... What other ways do I have to get back stuff from my graveyard? I don't have any more, right? Oh, man. I almost wonder if it's worth bouncing my... Bouncing my Tomb Trawler instead of the Sharpshooter, but then I lose the Sentry as well. So, prevent the two for one, or, yeah, two for one on that front. They can go archive trap me into the um Yeah, I think they're gonna I think they're going to salvo my tomb trawler. It's funny. Sure. It's not a bad draw. I can trailblazer into that, right? Yeah. And that'll let me attack with the sentry. Hopefully we find our villainous wealth before they mill it. Oh, brutal. That ionize. So, spree cards, you still have to pay the spree cost. Oh, they have an Oko, too! Alright, they have some good cards. I don't feel as bad losing to Ionize now. Go with lookout first, and we grab a desert. Trigger the out uh, uh, trailblazer and the uh, lookout. All right, no villainous wealth. No villainous wealth. Eighteen cards left in my deck. Doom Trawler would have saved us. Yeah, they're not even... Yeah, <laughs> Leave the Trailblazer so I draw extra cards. Dance 2, 4, 6, 8. So Dance is going to make a 9-9. Nine, nine. Oh no, Benegade, what are you doing? You're killing me with Ionize and Shifting Grift? You're just trying to shame me. Alright, 
This is the one turn that we have to maybe draw villainous wealth and do something. It's not poison. Trust me. <laughs> that is not it, my friends. We are very dead. I have to give them props. They are a friend of the stream. Even if I don't want to give them those props. Uh, I have 17 cards. Yeah, I'm going to just chump with my lookout. If they chill out on the archive trap. Oh my god, Fibblethip has been wrecking us too. Welcome to the feast. Okay, come on. Villainous wealth off the top, I think we might actually have a chance. Ah! Damn it. It's gonna be like the next card milled or something. Oh, I'm just dead to the uh, sure shot plus trample too. I want, okay, before you kill me, archive trap, please. No, archive trap. Oh, you punk. I think if we had drawn Villainous Wealth on the previous time, I mean, there's, we're still likely dead, but we would have had 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We would have done it for 9. Can you imagine? All right, all right, GG's. Good result overall. Six wins with this deck was great. That uh, last round was kind of trolly. The Ionize on the Overwhelming Forces, and then actually Fibblethip did a ton of damage too, right? Fibblethip drew like 10 cards, actually, for the plot cards. But yeah, this is what was supposed to happen in the uh, video a couple days ago. You force five color, you get a deck like deck like this, and it's just always super cool. So, as always, friends, thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time. Bye bye.